The lochs, the seas and the rivers were once the highways of the West Highlands. All along the coastline there's an abundance of strategic castles built by only the most powerful of clans. After the death of the powerful clan chief, Summerled, a man who united a huge area of the west coast, his lands were divided between his sons. Moida became known as Gormoran, and on Gormoran land lies Castle Chiram. In around the 14th century, there was a proper Scots lass of the name of Christina McCrory that was in charge of Gormoran lands. Christina was one of these birds that you didn't mess with, mate. She was wheeling and dealing, kicking Campbells about, granting lands, and apparently even had a wee hang with the Bruce himself, if you know what I mean. Well, with the King's permission, she granted Castle Churum to her half-brother, Ruri. Ruri didn't get up to much good. He was always fighting and liked to wee dram and having a wee party with the boys and that. But it was his daughter that was the practical one. His daughter, Amy. Amy was responsible for, for a lot of the remains of what you see here on Castle Chirum. And Amy had a son with the very first John, Lord of the Isles. And their son was the one and only Reginald Ranald of Clan Ranald. And thus, Clan Ranald was born. The infamous Clan Ranald were one of the Highlands' most feared clans. They didn't give a crap about what the Crown expected of them. They went about business the way they chose to do it. Constant wars with the Maclean's, the Mackenzie's, the Macintoshes, it was endless. These guys were so badass that they would even lock up the clan chiefs themselves. And in Castle Chirum, the chiefs of the Mackenzie's, the Macleods and the Macintoshes have all been locked up at some point in time. Well, Clan Ranald would of course switch their loyalty to the crown, sometimes with the crown, sometimes against the crown. It all just depended on what was best for them at the time. A clan was only as powerful as the men that they could assemble in time for battle. And Castle Chirum was the centre of power for the McDonald's of Clan Ranald. But it was said that warriors and pipers would live rent free, feast, train and prepare themselves in time for war. Well, the 14th chief, Alan, had to flee all the way to the Hebrides because of his loyalty to the Jacobite cause. In Castle Chirum, well, it was seized by the government troops. When Alan found out that the government troops were holding his castle with less than 20 men, he knew it was his opportunity to take back his castle. He came with all his warriors and he seized the castle in which was a bloody battle where all the government troops were slaughtered. And after the castle was won, he ordered his own castle, Castle Chirum, to be set ablaze so that the government troops could never use it against him again. Alan then died in Sheriff Muir. Castle Chirum is only accessible at low tide. This here is Loch Moidar. So, would you like to go see? Castle Chirum is definitely one of the most remote castles in the whole of Scotland. I've been here since last night, camped out and haven't seen a soul. But you can still feel the path which our ancestors walked for hundreds of years, man. It's really, really phenomenal. Unfortunately, the castle is... The castle is owned by someone. I can't remember who. I don't have any internet, so I can't even check it. <laughs> but the disappointing news is, if you walk up the, the ancient steps to the castle entrance,
you'll find that only the pigeons can enter. There's a gap, right? That's the main issue, right? Oh, fuck it, we're going in. Oh. I'm in, guys. I'm in. Oh my god. I did not think it would be possible. What a dream. Oh wow, what a place man, what a place man. Look at this place man, right as the weather turned as well, this would have been like a wee exit eh, wow an emergency exit. Do you imagine the men feasting? Preparing. Preparing for battle, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this beauty, man. Look at this beauty. This mad wee dungeon, eh? Can you feel them? The Clan Reynolds! What a place, eh? This is a wee tiny wee room. We step, so go up a level. is incredible absolutely incredible tiny doorway big doorway oh man how can you beat this guys look at the walls and everything Alvagura! Try and keep me out of your castle! I'm gonna get in your castle, you try and keep me out of your castle. It's my castle. It's fucking no wee rich prick like you, castle. Try to lock your castle up, aye. You can feel them here, guys, without a doubt. They were here, man. They were drinking, they were partying. Preparing for a battle. They weren't feared, man. They weren't like wee pussy boys like we make today, man. They weren't weak, scared of a wee war. Scared to sling a sword and feel that blood running down their face. 
This is when our people would thrive. It's freedom. Freedom is not free. Respect the clan, Ronald. Respect the clan, Ronald. And no respect to the wee muppet that thought you could fucking lock the gate. How in the hell did we get through that, man? Oof. It's not. My boot is higher. It's not even as high as my boot. <gasps> Whoa. Damn. I must be getting skinny, eh? <sighs> Look at this place, man. Just look at this place, man. Jesus. You can literally go through that wee break in the water there and you can go to the islands. Man, you imagine? Boys would have just parked our boats down there and ran up the wee path for hundreds of years. Thank you, brothers. Thank you for giving me this joy of joining your incredible, incredible place of power. May many more men grow up in this country to be proud to be proud of who they are. To be proud of what you fought for. What a special place, eh? What a really, really, really special place this is. I'm not even gonna give you my spiel. How could this not be a fucking amazing video? Look at where I've just been. Cheerio the nerd!